We are going to do some observational drawing today. You will actually be looking at a giant tractor. Yep, that's what I said. We need to prepare ourselves first. So we're going to take a piece of paper, fold it in half one way, open it up, fold it in half the other way, so we end up having four sections. We're going to draw this at least four times, but maybe even eight. Okay. We will be walking around the tractor. And as we walk around the tractor, we're going to find different perspectives, which means we're going to look at different parts of the tractor. When we find a place and we start drawing, we are going to look for shapes. Look at, I found a square, a rectangle, and some circles. We can draw anything by using shapes. Now that I have my shapes in, I'm using a darker pencil, so I'm pressing a little harder, and I'm finding some of the details inside. So I'm looking for the lines for the windows and the top and this part and that part and all the parts that we can see. Take a look. I'm really observing, which means using my eyes and my brain to think about what I'm actually looking at, what I'm seeing, and trying to communicate that through my drawing. Okay. Once we have looked at a tractor from one side, we're going to move to another side and take a look at that part. Here is the front view of the tractor. Well, this looks way different. As you can see, I'm drawing my shapes, so I'm starting the same exact way. I have ovals and squares and rectangles. After I've created my shapes, I'm going in and finding all of those details again. Now this is fun because we're looking from, the, from a completely new angle and we get to find new details and notice new things about the tractor. So we're really going to do some observation to find out exactly what this tractor looks like. Okay, after we've done two sides, we're going to move to a third side. This third side might look similar to your first. So you might look at a closer view of a part of the tractor. I'm going to scoot in right here and take a look real close at all the details inside. Oh, I love this. There's all sorts of lines and pipes and wires and buttons. Once I kind of block out the areas with my shapes like I have been doing, now I get to get in there and really pay attention and look at all the details inside. So I'm getting real close. You don't have to do the whole tractor every time. Okay, last view. We're looking at the back. I'm going to get started with my shapes and wait a minute. Is that nice and big? Am I using my space? No. So I'm going to redraw that so I'm much bigger. Oh yeah, there's a good square. There's a good rectangle. And I even have my mistake in there. I made the whoops. I'm going to try to make the whoops into a wow. So I made a mistake. I didn't erase. With observational drawing, you don't erase. You just make the whoops in a wow, into a wow. You might use a darker pencil to make the correct lines, or you might just say, that's okay. It's all right to make mistakes. That's what we're doing. We're learning. So, like I said, you'll have four drawings, but you might have more. We have the whole back, so I could flip it over like this and draw again, maybe looking at different parts of the tractor again. I want to give a big thank you to the people that brought us the tractors. We got the tractor out front in our space from Minnesota Equipment, and I just thank Mike Sharber for allowing us to take a look at this in Rogers, Minnesota, here at Hassan Elementary.